While you were shopping in your local sewing center, did you ever stop and think that the simplicity reproduction pattern might not actually be a reproduction of the original? Hi, my name's Stephanie Canada, and this is yet another episode of Vintage vs. Reproduction, where I take the original vintage pattern, this time from 1974, and I'm gonna compare it line for line to its modern reproduction, number 1365. And while this is not the first of these series, it is going to be the very first time where this fine vintage pattern lines up exactly in the bust, waist, and hip measurements to this one. Is the seam allowance the same? We don't know yet. Let's go over to the craft table and find out now, shall we? And now that we're over at the craft table and I have referenced these instructions, I have found out that yes, indeed, we do have the exact same seam allowance. Except for, I believe, a couple of these smaller pieces, which will have three eighths of an inch, which we will reference as we go along, but we are all set up to see if they actually reproduced it this time. Now, the reason I'm so salty about this is because I have many, many videos on this topic already and not a single one has actually really done it. But this could be it. This could be the redeeming video. But because on the other videos, we've already discussed that there are differences in the envelopes. There are differences in the instructions and really no one cares. So we're just gonna dive into the part that everyone does care about, those pattern pieces. We haven't even gotten started and it's not going well. What in the ever loving mercy is this? What the f is this? Size 10, size 10. Where are those damn envelopes at? I have a vintage size 10. It should line up with a that's right, modern size 10. What in the actual swizzles is this? This doesn't even fit a size six. Doesn't even fit a size six. Look at how big this is. That is a four inch difference. This is already not going well. On the fold here, sorry, if you line it up here with the notches in the bottom corner, like so, you can see the giant curve difference through here. You can see that it is four inches different. You can see the huge sweep through here, the difference of the neckline, and the difference of the strap length. There's the 10. This is my 10. Now let's go to the collar. Is it upside down? It's upside. Okay. Um, that's an entirely different shape. That's not even close. The modern one has a much larger curve. I can't even begin to, to line up anything because it, it, it doesn't. If I line up the corner here, which is still wrong, amazing. That is the difference. That angle is wildly different. What the fuck? So there's, I mean, there's no real way to, to make this, I guess, unless you were to cut it straight. So like ignore their entire thing, connect from the 10 do a straight line down to the point, change the angle and then change the scoop. It's that's, that's just not worth it. That's just not worth it. Don't just use theirs or just don't. This is going well, next piece. Oh yeah, that's not right either. Why did we feel the need to scoop it so much? Guess just for flair. We made it skinnier. I'm sure that could only help. This is only a 3 8 inch seam here. And if we started at the 10 where it should be, vintage one, easily an inch and a half longer. So yeah, the vintage one is giving you way much more as far as tie end goes, also without the unnecessary like bow and scoop, which I mean, you could do that if you wanted to all on your own. You don't need the pattern to do that for you, but whatever. Moving on to the next piece. And did I absolutely have to reference the instructions in the envelope just so I could even have a vague idea of which tie end I was looking at because they labeled them the same in the vintage pattern. They both say tie end, which um, vintage that that wasn't helpful either. Just to be fair. Now for the midriff of one and two, in this case, A and B. What the f is this? Why is your piece so small? Why is your piece so small? Simplicity, what were you thinking? Are you compensating with the back? 
The first piece was gigantic. This piece is like half the size. What? Why? How? <sighs> Anyways, you line it up here. You will notice that you are a solid inch and a half from the top. You are almost three inches from the bottom. And the modern, the vintage one goes straight across. And the modern one does that weird curve down and is fork and tiny. Apparently Candy could sense my frustration and decided to come up and say hello. Hello. Say hello. Okay, she's going back downstairs and I'll be right back. A few moments later. And we're back with a tie end. Hopefully this one's a little bit better, maybe? Nope. No, no, no and no. If you take into the accounts of the 2 8 side seams are still here on each side because this is a 3 inch, 3 8 inch, this is a 5 8 inch, you are still four inches short, four of the end of the vintage piece to where they stopped the modern one. So how exactly are you planning on tying this with your stubby, stubby back tie? What the fuck is this? Just make it longer. Peplum. Peplum can't be that bad, right? Eh, wrong. So this curve is entirely different. The 10's line comes up to here on the modern one. 10's line here ends here. I mean, it's close enough through the fold, but everything, the whole curve is different. I guess there is a world where it could be slightly better because maybe you have more of a gather, which means you have more of a peplum, which means you have more poof, which we always love more poof, but I don't know why I'm saying poof, but I'm trying to find the silver lining in this video. So just, just uh, grab onto that thin little thread with me and hold on for dear life because I don't see this getting any better. Let's move on to the next midriff piece. <clears throat> dear simplicity, McCall's Vogue conglomerate sewing pattern in 2022. This is my Stephanie Canada official application to come to your warehouse, factory, design studio, wherever it is that you design these particular patterns right here. Wherever that is, I would love to bring some of my actual vintage patterns to your factory, your design, wherever it is you do these things. I would love to bring some because I would love to not get this frustrated during a video because you have the money, you have the opportunity. These patterns still exist. I have it in my hands. And yet here we are with yet another piece that looks nothing like the original vintage. So if you would like help, I would love to bring patterns to you. Dear friends, send this far and wide. Send it to your local simplicity. Let me help you. Please, let me help you. Please. Okay, let's go back to Midras piece. So, this piece should be that piece along the 10 line. Not, not even close. The modern one is about an inch larger on either side, an inch larger at the top. I mean, I'm just kind of centering it because there is no line on this, none, not a single one. That lines up. There is no way this lines up to this. Zero way. Okay, great. Moving on. Hey, hey, simplicity. Where's our friend the stay at? You are not a vintage pattern, clearly. So where's your stay piece at? Only vintage patterns are supposed to just randomly give you pieces that don't actually exist in the description in the instructions. Why did we leave this piece out? I don't know, but here we are. Midriff front. Let's go. And bam. Nope. Nobody, nope, nope, nope. Wow. So what we have is we have the same length at least. So this is the same length for the center front. What we have different is the angle. The modern is angling down about three quarters of an inch and angles out about an inch and a quarter to end right here. Doesn't take this scoop, it does a much smaller line along the way. This would give you a much more dramatic look than this thing would. Um, say what now? Um, 
How are those two the same? Well, that's right. They're freaking not. So what we have here is a much larger back piece, midriff back L on the vintage one. If we were to, God, I don't even know where to line this up. This is just a disaster. So we're lining up with the bottom corner. The modern one goes out an extra inch above it and makes this weirdo shape up here. Whereas this one has a nice little like accentuated curve to go back into your armpit to connect to the front. And then the modern one actually comes down another half inch below with a totally different setup. Cool, 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 cool. This is going so well. Are we done yet? Almost. Great. Let's go. With the band piece, the accent piece. A one, a two, a three. Nope. Oh, wow. Wow, look at the difference. So this one, look at that curve. This curve is much sharper, goes up way farther. As this one canoodles itself out somewhere over here. What in the Swiss Miss roll were you doing? Were you trying to unroll the daggone thing and then just stopped halfway through? And here we are at the end of yet another vintage versus reproduction and I still couldn't manage to get the camera straight. I'm doing great with this track record. I know that I promised y'all that I would start making these, but um, this ain't the one. Also, cause my sewing machine is still being very, very cranky and doesn't always like to work. So my apologies, but also this ain't the one. This is so bad and so different. I, I couldn't if I even wanted to, okay? If there are more of these disaster piles that you would really like me to review, please just go ahead and leave them down in the comments and make my soul hurt even more. If you appreciated this in any way, shape, or form, hopefully it stops you from making this god-awful reproduction or can help you angle it the correct way. We aren't even talking about the random lining piece that they added in for no reason. Um, yeah, not even going there, nor the fact that they forgot the little stay. So here we are. This is the bad place. I want to thank y'all so much for making it all this way with me. And by God, please, please click the like button. <laughs> Comment below with more that you want me to review, even though, oh, these hurt some days, especially this one. And as always, I hope you stick around for more pattern and sewing shenanigans because that's what we do here in Florida, not in Canada. Have a great day and I will see y'all next time. Bye. That's the wrong button. That is the wrong button. This is going well. Really far away and dark. I can't believe I'm doing two videos just because I look good. Oh boy, this is gonna be not right. What the fuck? What the fuck? Do 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 the TikTok song. Never mind. I'm gonna go back to this. Okay. <laughs>